Hi guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from down and today I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of a tutorial on how to start up, start making videos with Sony Vegas. Just a really simple gameplay commentary, whatever you want, just the basic tools and skills that you will need in order to manipulate video in Sony Vegas. Now say now I'm using Sony Vegas 12, you can use 11, you can use 10, you can use 9, whatever, they are practically the same. I'm just using 12 because that's the version I have on my computer. So what you're going to do, you're going to go File and you're going to go New and you're going to have this new project come up. And obviously you want to pick a template, something that you, something that's pretty good. Now the majority of these you're not going to use, they're really bad quality, bad resolution, you're not going to want them. Now this tutorial, we're just going to stick with one at the moment. And this is the 1280 by 720 by 29.97 frames per second option. And this will give you good 720p quality on YouTube. And obviously that's the, be that's the minimum that you would want. You don't want 480p. You've got to keep up with the crowd, guys. You know, 720p or 1080p is the way to go in my opinion. As you can see there, the width 1280, height 720, field order, just keep that on none, and literally everything's all ready for you, there's one thing we've got to change, pixel aspect ratio, keep that on square, frame rate, keep that 29.97, keep this on 32 bit floating point, full range, don't keep on 8 bit or 32 floating point, you can do that if you want, but honestly there is a, just a slightly better quality in my opinion when I put it on full range. Compositing Gamma, put that on video, and when it comes up to view transform, keep it on off. And I'll show you what happens if you actually do put it back on. It's a, it's a bit weird, and I'll do that a bit later on. So full resolution rendering quality, put that on best. Caution blur, just really simple, and click start all start all new projects with this settings. Really simple stuff at the moment. And audio, just keep it on 48,000 hertz. Just really simple. That's really good quality in my opinion. So we're going to hit OK, and here we go, we've got a nice little blank project. Now the first thing what you're going to do, is you're going to go right click, and you can add in a video track. And you're going to go right click and add in an audio track, obviously one for video, one for audio. Then we're going to go bring in our little gameplay right here, and it'll come up with this option depending on the resolution of your gameplay. Now, this project is at 1280 by 720 but I record my gameplay at 1920 by 1080 so saying that, there's a bit of a resolution difference. Now, if you want to keep it at 720p, you would obviously hit no because you don't want to change the project, project settings. And even though the project settings will be, you know, lower resolution than the actual gameplay, it doesn't matter because literally there's still the same format, 16 by 9, full screen, widescreen, whatever you want to call it. So what we've got here, we've got a nice little chunk of gameplay, it goes for about 2 minutes. Now the first tip you want to know with um, Sony Vegas is how to cut. Now cutting is so simple, you just click where you want to cut it and just hit S and boom, the clip has been split. Really, really, really simple stuff. Hit delete, you got rid of that gameplay right there, or whatever, you got video, you got video, audio, whatever, it's exactly the same, the cut works for all. Now the first thing you want to do with gameplay is right click it. Go to switches, untamed, maintain aspect ratio. You don't want that. You, you that's really, really, really bad. Depending on what, depending on what resolution record at. If you record at a weird resolution, it will give you black bars. So make sure you untick that. Also, disam disable resample. You don't want resample. It's really bad when it comes to videos because if you record at a certain frame rate, let's say record at 30 frames. That's what I do when I record with fraps. It will add in extra frames between the frames and it will give this really weird blur effect. And for gameplays, you do not want that. So make sure you turn it off. And just again, right click, switches, untame this main aspect ratio and disable the resample. Really, really simple stuff. So we're just going to cut off a clip right here and I'll just show you, show you some stuff that you can do with Vegas. So we'll zoom in, you do that with a scroll wheel. And just a really simple thing, slow motion. That's something that people want to do when they're montage. It's just some really simple slow motion. This isn't the most efficient way to do it. It's all really dependent on your frames per second on how high you record. Literally just click the M, hold control and you can drag it out and boom. We'll go like there, and as you can hear with the audio, it's 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 slower. It's got a slower frames per second, and it's in slow motion. That's pretty cool. 
Now let's say you have a little bit of clip right here, and you just say, "Oh, I just, just, I just want a little bit more." You just drag it out, and then boom, you got your, you got more video. You, it's not slow motion or anything like that because you're not holding down control. You just drag it out, you drag it in, and you just pretty much you can just get rid or get more of gameplay or video or whatever. Now another really good tip, we we'll go back to this main one right here, is blur and flat f and fade outs. I mean, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna zoom it in really fast so you guys can see. See that little that little blue blue aqua blue right thing there? We're gonna drag it, and as you can see, it has fade out offset, and boom, it fades out. Really, really, really simple, and that's an effect a lot of you a lot of people will not know. That's just something for you guys to notice. Now, something else you might want to know is how to make your gameplay sound a bit le a bit lower than your vo commentary, because in order to make a commentary with Vegas, you just go right click and you just hit the record button. You go OK, and then you go right here, hit the record button down here, Control R, whatever I just I use Control R, and it goes. Hey guys, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from down under, and then you got your commentary right there, really simple. And over here, I was playing some music. I was playing some music while I was making this commentary or making the, doing this gameplay. So obviously, you don't want it. Want an, an easy way to get rid of it? Just drop. Just click the top of the game, this little blue thing, and just drop. Now, if you say, "Oh, I just don't even want it. I just completely want this track off my thing," go here and just click delete, and boom, the track is gone. All your audio is gone. Perfect. You just got gameplay, and you got your commentary. Really cool. So as you can see, we've got all our stuff there, we've got our little phase and offsets, and then literally, that's all you really need. You record your commentary, you put your gameplay, you put your fades, and then you boom, you're done. Way to preview is in this little preview tab right here. Now obviously, depending on your computer is what quality you're going to have it set at. For montages, you want to have it set at quarter, and as you can see, it's really bad quality because you have all these effects mucked in. Now, for gameplay, just pure gameplay, you hit full and it looks absolutely fine. That's my computer, and I can run it at a good frames per second. Now, if you have a lower computer, obviously you want a preview or draft, you have a really good computer, you can have it on full. Really depends on what you do. Now, one last thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is how to add text, and that's one thing a lot of you, a lot of you people would want to know in order to start out with Vegas. All you do, right click, insert video track, it's on top, If in order to move tracks, just simply drag them and put them on top or bottom, whatever, and just go right click, insert, insert text media, and there you go, you got a little text right here, you can change your font, you can change your outline, you can change whatever, just a really, really, really simple thing that a lot of people won't know when you first do Sony Vegas, and there it is, just text, simple stuff, just something you guys would really want to know. So what we're going to do, we've got that little... We've got our little commentary right here, the four seconds, whatever. We've got the gameplay, and we're going to go file, and then going to go render out the file. Obviously, you'd want to save the project first. You go file, you go save as, and you can save it wherever. So we're going to file, render as, and we're going to render it as a custom format. Now, as you can see, I've got show favorites only, because I've got my two little, I've got my 720p, I've got my 1080p. So we're going to just, un I'm just going to unclick that, and I'm going to show it you guys from the very start. Now you've got all these different options, you've got MPJ, MPJ, your AVC, MP4, you all these different ones. Now my opinion, MP4 is a good file format, but not as good as Windows Media Video. As you can see right here, I've already got a drop down. Now we're going to go here, and we're going to make our own template. To make our own template, it's really simple. 6 megabits per second HD, 720, 30p video, whatever. That is the 720p for the template for rendering. Now we're going to customize this, and we're going to make a few changes. Audio, 192 kilobits is absolutely fun. Keep it at that. Video, keep it at 12 by 720. Frame rate, that's fine. Everything's good here. You just want to maybe bump up the video smoothness, maybe to 95, a bit more sharper. Bit rate is the main thing. And that's what a lot of people miss out on. They have a look at the resolution. I think, yeah, it's fine. But they miss the bit rate. The bit rate is so important. As you can see, it's set on 6. In my opinion, I'll bump that up to 10. I have it on 15 for my videos to get that really good quality. In my opinion, chuck it on 10. That is really good. 
move over the index, nothing there. Move over the project, Vindo video rendering quality, quality, chuck that on best. And there you can go, you can chuck it in YouTube, you can name or whatever. I'm just going to name this YouTube tutorial because I've already got one of these for myself. Go file, go OK, and then you've got it right there. Now, for older versions of Sony Vegas, you won't have this option. For Sony Vegas 12, that added in favorites, which is really cool. As you can see, you got this little star. Click that star, click show favorites only, and then it'll only come up with your favorite templates, your, your favorite rendering templates. Instead of going through, clicking it, and doing all that stuff, you just got it right there. You just click it, you hit render, and then you're going to go, all, uh, and then you have to obviously specify your folder. So we're just going to go into here. We'll just, just put it here, wherever, and go render. Boom. And as you can see, it's rendering out the file. So we're going to cancel that. I'm going to show you out one more little thing that's pretty cool. As you can see right here, it has these little yellow thing. And this is the loop render region. And we want to select just this little part right here. Literally just two seconds right here. It's what? Two, three, five seconds, whatever it is. We want to render out this little part instead of the whole project. So we're going to go fire, we're going to render as, we're going to use the exact same thing, but we're going to click render loop region only. This will render just the region, that little thing, that little five seconds there, instead of the whole project. We hit render, obviously as you can see, skips right there, 36 gone really fast because obviously it's a small... And as you can see right here, my little file is there, my little uh, untitled .wmv. 3.84 megabytes, a normal commentary would be about 500 in my opinion, about half a gig, really good quality. For 1280 by 720, even less, I'm talking about um, 1920 by 1080 when I talk about this high file size. Now just some, some really, really simple tips when it comes to doing, you know, just a bit of a bit of editing. We're not going to go really, really, really in depth. Just some simple stuff for you guys at the moment. Just go right click video event FX and it comes up with all this stuff. Sorry if I'm going just a tiny bit fast, but I just want to show you some stuff to make your gameplay just, just a tiny bit nicer. So color correctors, one thing to use. And then color curves, really nice thing to use. And as you can see, the gameplay looks okay right now. Simple way to make your gameplay just look a tiny bit better. Just go to color corrector and just change the point value on saturation. Let's put it to point three, and we'll have a look. And that just adds a bit more saturation, makes everything look a bit colorful. We'll get this window out of the way. Zoom it in. Look, just looks a tiny bit nicer. Just in just one click, really simple. We move over the color curves, and simply, this is how white or black you want it. You want a bit more light to it, you're going to go like this. You want a bit darker, you're going to go like that. Now, for me, I like my just my video just a tiny bit lighter. And as you can see, it does add quite a bit of difference. And that's just something really good. You can pull it in, it makes it really white. You can pull it back, you make it a bit darker, a bit lighter. You can really muck around with this. And there's a lot of customization when it comes to Vegas. That's just two really simple effects, in my opinion, that you guys might want to know. But you can get so in-depth with Vegas. You can go pan and crop. You can go and move it out. You can put it in corners. You can, do all, you can do all funky stuff when it comes to Vegas. You can go and put even more effects. And you can go into this little option. You've got TV stimulators. You've got all this different stuff that if you guys want, I could do tutorials about and tell you guys about all these different effects and how you can use them in your commentaries and your montage and stuff like that and how to get a really, really good professional looking video through Sony Vegas because at the start it looks a bit daunting but in the end it's just a, such a simple program to use once you've learnt it in my opinion. Baronets, Undercover Dudes, all the way from down under, out.